Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Teddy Roosevelt Terrier, a dedicated breed known for its sociability, energy, and enthusiasm for life. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. The Breed History the Teddy Roosevelt Terrier was created in America from a variety of toy and medium-sized dog breeds that were brought to the new country by early settlers. Historically, the Rat Terrier and the Teddy Roosevelt Terrier were both believed to be subtypes of the Rat Terrier. These terriers evolved more organically. No breeding records can determine which breeds contributed to their development. Some Rat Terrier enthusiasts in the 1990s wanted to split the breed into two distinct types called Type A and B. Type A Rat Terriers had longer legs like the modern rat terrier. In comparison, type B rat terriers had shorter legs like the modern Teddy Roosevelt terrier. The Teddy Roosevelt is a long-legged rat terrier. In contrast, a short-legged Teddy Roosevelt is a type B rat terrier. The name Teddy Roosevelt terrier was chosen as a tribute to President Theodore Roosevelt, known to have had a little terrier called Skip, who was likely a rat terrier or a rat terrier mix. The United Kennel Club officially recognizes the Teddy Roosevelt terrier as a member of the Terrier Group. This breed is now recognized as a miscellaneous class dog by the American Kennel Club, which means it may compete in performance events like dog shows while it waits for full recognition. Appearance the Teddy Roosevelt Terrier is a small but sturdy canine with huge erect ears. Though he is much longer than tall, his physique is muscular and athletic. Male Teddy Roosevelt Terriers may be significantly taller and heavier. Still, it may be easier to tell their difference from females once you put them side by side. Females often reach mental maturity before males do, although the physical differences are less noticeable than the differences in character. His short, sleek coat is shaved close to the skin and their tails are docked, a common practice for working dogs. Standard coat colors include white with black or brown markings, or both. Temperament the Teddy Roosevelt Terrier is a bright, sociable, and loving family dog. The breed makes a great family dog because of his friendly demeanor and protective tendency toward children and other pets when socialized from a young age. However, because of their strong prey drive to hunt down small animals, Teddy Roosevelt Terriers should not be trusted around pets such as rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, and even cats. He is a fearless, dogged hunter whose size and stamina make him a formidable opponent against rodents and squirrels. Squirrels. The finest version of this breed is when it's living with its human family. It's most devoted, energetic, and playful. Teddy Roosevelt Terriers love to relax with their humans on the sofa after a full day of play and exploration. During training sessions, they pick up new skills fast and are always game for anything their owners plan. In addition to performing the role they were bred for, they also do very well in companion sports like agility and obedience. Socialization Teddy Roosevelt Terriers are known to be one of the most excellent breeds for a household with young children. This dog will do everything it takes to defend your kid and your family. Still, it will be hostile only if they perceive an actual or potential danger. Remember, they're Terriers and always have the zeal to hunt. Due to their high activity levels, a Teddy Roosevelt Terrier may be too much for children to manage independently even if they've been trained to be more cautious around children. For this reason, young children should never be left alone in your dog's presence. This includes older children and teens. Do well to educate both your kid and your dog on proper interaction. When this is correctly done, you need not worry about harm coming to either of them. Because of their tiny stature, Teddy Roosevelt Terriers may thrive in smaller houses and flats, provided they receive sufficient daily activity. Grooming Teddy Roosevelt Terriers are among the easiest breeds to keep clean because of their short coat. They only need little in the way of care and grooming. They spend so much time outdoors, so they'll inevitably be filthy. If you keep your dogs inside, the frequency with which it needs a wash is entirely up to you. However, regular bathing, say once a month, will help maintain their coat clean and reduce shedding. They may also be kept clean and free of stray hair by brushing them once a week. His weekly brushing with a gentle brush or rubber curry 
grooming mitt is all he needs since he only sheds at certain times of the year. As a part of grooming, keep his nails short and neat using a nail clipper or grinder to prevent overgrowth, splitting, and breaking. You should also inspect your dog's ears for irritation such as redness, debris, or a foul odor. Schedule an appointment with your vet if you see any signs of inflammation, excessive discharge, or a foul odor. When the ears get filthy, use an ear cleaner suitable for pets and try to brush your dog's teeth regularly. When your dog is more likely to spend time outside during the warmer months, you should check it for ticks more frequently. Your vet may recommend an effective flea and tick medication to help protect your pet from the diseases and parasites these pests can transmit. Start grooming your dog during its early puppy life and, while you're at it, ensure that your canine companion is having fun. Exercise Naturally, Teddy Roosevelt Terriers are energy-packed. To ensure that your Teddy Roosevelt Terrier gets the necessary activity, consider signing him up for an agility class or entering him into a competition. By challenging his mind and body in this manner, training him may serve as a daily dose of mental and physical wellness. They'll want to let some of their pent-up energy out differently, and it needn't be all at once. Dog sports like agility, obedience, and rally training provide another avenue for physical activity with your pet. Some other fun methods to get your dog some exercise is playing catch with him, going on a long walk together, or even just chasing each other around the yard. Involve the little ones so that they may get the health benefits and give you a break from their fun as you do the same. Swimming, hiking, and catching balls or flying discs are all great ways to burn off some steam in the great outdoors. If you live in an apartment building, your dog may still benefit from regular exercise, even if you can only take him for brief walks in the halls, particularly on days when the weather is terrible. During exercise sessions, you must have some say over the intensity and duration of your workouts. Keep your teddy bear on a leash at all times. They have such a strong drive to chase and hunt that they may dart out into traffic if given a chance. Whether you join in, they will still expend some of their vitality. Making sure your dog gets the proper helpful exercise is as simple as planning activities and playing with him. If you don't give them something to do, they could turn to excavating or destroying destroying things on their own. Training Teddy Roosevelt Terriers are highly trainable since they're intelligent, inquisitive, and eager to please. Due to their loyalty and desire to please their owners, these dogs can be trained to be very obedient. They become receptive to the process when they learn that training will result in positive reinforcement through treats and compliments. Suppose your Teddy Roosevelt Terrier already knows the basics. In that case, you can move on to teaching him more complex commands and even tricks like dodging and weaving through obstacles. Try teaching your dog the basics like sit, stay, and roll over to get started. Remember that you'll need to train your dog to refrain from killing small animals they may encounter. Provide your Teddy Roosevelt Terrier with designated digging sites in the yard to prevent it from disturbing your landscape. If you don't keep them in check, they'll get out of hand fast. But don't go crazy with the treats, as they usually respond just as well to general praise. A sandbox or other container of dirt or sand may also be used. If you lack the necessary experience to train a dog effectively, or if your current methods aren't producing the desired results, it's always a good idea to consult an expert trainer. Maintain a happy, enthusiastic, and pleasant training environment by utilizing lots of praise and tasty treats as incentives. They need this to channel at least part of their boundless enthusiasm and eccentric character. Diet and Nutrition a healthy, well-balanced diet is essential for all dogs, including Teddy Roosevelt Terriers. Feeding your Teddy Roosevelt Terrier on either commercially made or home-cooked food approved by your vet is ideal. If you want your dog to maintain a trim yet muscular build, feed him food rich in proteins derived from meat. Be mindful of your dog's calorie intake and weight since certain canines are predisposed to becoming overweight. As we mentioned earlier, Terriers love to hunt. It's essential to prevent your dog from consuming any rodents or other small creatures he or she may catch. Mice, in particular, transmit various illnesses that might harm your dog. You should also be cautious about giving your dog too many goodies because of its propensity for weight gain. Note that while rewards may be a helpful teaching tool, excessive doling out of treats can lead to weight gain. Dogs shouldn't overeat human food since they lack the nutrients necessary to thrive. Lastly, ensure that clean, fresh water is available for your dog at all times. If you have any questions, questions or challenges about your dog's nutrition, consult your vet immediately. Health 
Generally, Teddy Roosevelt Terriers are healthy dogs with a long and happy lifespan. However, they are prone to several conditions such as obesity, hip dysplasia, and elbow dysplasia. Responsible breeders of Teddy Roosevelt Terriers ensure their puppies are free of hereditary diseases including patellar luxation and eye illness. Cataracts and lens luxation are two common eye problems that may affect dogs of many breeds including Teddy Roosevelt Terriers but are usually minor inconveniences. In addition, check for hypothyroidism is Von Willebrand's disease and dental issues, including malocclusions to the vet. To lower the prevalence of heritable diseases in their pups, responsible breeders conduct genetic testing on their breeding stock. Regular checks at the veterinarian are essential from time to time. What's your thought about this breed? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.